Well, we've only been playing about three minutes and we've only already gone one nil up, so... Let's discuss whether he's offside or not. Yes! Goal's given! Welcome back to the channel. And for people who don't know me, my name is Matt the Groundhopper. And for the people that do know me, thank you for coming back to the channel to see another video, another ground. So I'm pretty much ground hopping all around the UK, looking to complete the 160 grounds next couple of seasons. Uh, this is a new ground from today. And this is ground number 46 of my list, which will be on the screen right now. And of course I've headed up to North London to Barnet. Uh, today they're at home to Maidenhead. Barnet are absolutely flying in the league. They are second, just three points behind Chesterfield, whose own game has been postponed today. So if Barnet wins this game by more than two clear goals, they will go top of the league on goal difference. So big incentive for the home club today. So the ground's just to the right of me. You have to walk through a park to get to the ground. It's all very leafy around here. It's all yeah, it's quite a nice, nice easy journey in. Put the tube on the Jubilee line and you basically get off at Cannons Park and walk to the ground. So if you're not familiar with this area or the club, so Barnet don't actually play in Barnet anymore. It's sort of it's North London but it's more west towards Edgewell or Cannons Park. I have been to the old ground, Underhill, about 15 years ago, which was very much in Barnet, but they relocated to here. They had a sort of a new purpose-built stadium, which is about 10 years old. So drop me a comment if you're a Barnet fan. I mean, be happy travelling to here, because it's not actually in your, <laughs> not in your town, but you get a new stadium out of it. I did read that when they built this stadium, I think Wheelstone were actually going to occupy this ground at one point, and Barnet were going to use it as a training ground, and then relocate to a new all-purpose ground in Barnet. But well, they've changed their mind since, and obviously they are now here full-time. But let me know what your opinions are plan here. Um, just walking through to the entrance now. Through to the park to go to the ground, the hive. It's quite a nice little walk in if I'm being honest, because a lot of grounds, the old grounds are in the middle of housing estates and you're walking through terrace streets and things, but this is off the beaten track. As I said earlier, you walk through a park, you've got all sort of train facilities here, which I presume are for the club and for the community. Um, it's got a nice feel about it. It's yeah, all very modern, very nice. There's a few people filtering into the ground now, but we are about an hour to kick off. I always like to get to the ground quite early to get my bearings and do a bit of filming. But yeah, so far, um, so good. So first observation is there's only three stands and if you actually stand behind this goal there's only like a netting on the fence so you can actually watch the game for free <laughs> which obviously I wouldn't advocate doing you always pay your money and go for the turnstiles but yeah I thought this would have been blocked out better to be fair but it's not really hiding the ground because you could actually stand in and watch the game quite easily but yeah so yeah three sided ground whether they'll put a fourth stand here I don't know maybe someone could comment in the box will there be a fourth stand here at the hive but um I go through there and get my seat, but yeah, come on, Barnet. I see you top of the league by the end of, the, by the end of today.
we've only been playing about three minutes and we've finally already gone one nil up. So, so far so good. Neither had two goals and um, they'll be top of the league. But yeah, so it's now fired at one. Made an end. Neil on their, literally their first shot of the goal. I was expecting that, maybe they've just equalised about, about eight minutes into the game. But it's now 1-1, one, one. it's pretty much their second attack of the game and um, completely goes a run of play and it's now 1-1. One, one. Great sight, brilliant. So it's my first time at this ground and it's, it's, it's very modern, but it's quite lopsided. So where I'm sitting now, this main stand, it's actually quite large. You'll see where most of the fans are. You've got the stand opposite, which backs onto some of the premises. And I think that's where all the directors and things sit. And to the right, there's no stand at all. Let me know if they're going to put a new stand there. And to the left, I'm assuming that's all the way end. And currently, I think I counted about 75 Maidenhead fans in that way end. But I'm assuming that whole stand is for the away, uh, for the away side, but yeah, so overall it's nice. I mean, where I'm sitting up here, it's a really great view, really good view from up here. I'm quite high up, but yeah, really good view of the pitch, but yeah, good atmosphere, but just a little bit atmosphere-wise, it just feels a little bit imbalanced. Apart from that, quite nice. Bit of a yo-yo team between the National League and Football League. I mean, I remember back in the day they were promoted. They won the old Vauxhall Conference in 1991. Barry Fry is a manager. Remember him? I think he'd been, I think he'd been promoted about three or four times back and forth. Um, basically, they established yourself in the Football League. But yeah, I'm sure you'll be up there this season. Um, whether you win the league or not, we don't know. But I'm sure you'll be in the playoffs. Another stab at the Football League. And if you do get up, will you stay there? But currently here it is. Still 1-1. One, one. Very, very dark skies. It's gonna, I think it's gonna actually pour down in a minute. But a uh, pretty entertaining game. Proper end to end, and I think Maiden had been on top really in the first half. But it is still 1-1. One, one. So early on that main end had been on top in his first half and they've gone and scored a second goal to make it 2-1 and you know to be fair, I think they've deserved it because Barnett they scored with the first kick of the game to go one net up but they've had a couple of chances but main end have been well on top and they've deserved their lead so it's now 2-1 to Maidenhead to the delight of their 75 away fans who are going absolutely bananas behind to the left of me but no so it's now 2-1 to Maidenhead Oh. 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 Sorry, 
mate there that just hit the crossbar. I mean, they're just not following the script because <laughs> this should be geared up for a Barnet win. And to be fair, Barnet have had a lot more chances the second half. They're really impressive. They got that equaliser. Made it broke, hit the crossbar, <laughs> nearly went back in front again. But so it's still 2 2. I'm expecting a Barnet win, so it feels like they're going to score again. But it's, um, I don't think they're going to go top, so they need to go with two clear goals, which means they're going to have to win like 4 2 or 5 2, more like. But yeah, it's probably about 10 15 minutes left, and it's still 2 2. Offside or not? Yes! Goal given! Five, three, five, head two! So, Barnett scored 3 2. It was originally given offside by the linesman. The referee and linesman had a little chat, and the referees awarded the goal. So it's now Barnett. Three, Maidenhead two, and it's, we're in injury time. So that stands as three two. They will be joint top of the league with Chesterfield. That says a big goal. Um, fans are alive and up. It's been a very subdued second half, in fact. Some um, frustration for the home fans, but you can hear them now. So it's now Barnet three, Maidenhead two. So Maidenhead player, second yellow card. So now. <laughs> I've just been sent off. There's been a few better cards today for the Maiden players. Um... So the Maiden head managers never been sent off as well. So they're down to 10 men and they are now managerless for the last two minutes of the game. Game finished very eventful, five goals. Um, right at the end we had a, a goal disallowed by the linesman, which was allowed by was allowed by the referee. We had a player sent off, a main head, and the manager was also sent off. So it was all kicked on the foot in. But Barnet um, go joint top of the league. They are they play the game more, but they are one goal behind in goal difference. But they've chased down Chesterfield and they're now all square. But good good end to the game please for the Barnet fans they, um, they deserve to win the third second half a much better second half and they're pushing and pushing and pushing uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so I'm getting absolutely soaking wet here it's just pouring up with rain so that's at least worth a subscription I'm taking one for the team on the channel make sure you comment as well and like the video really appreciate all the comments and the likes really do and I will see you at my next game. I presume it will be next, next weekend. Thanks again and bye for now.